Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video because I'm about to go to a karaoke night um, with my husband and some friends. So I wanted to make a quick little YouTube video type thing and talk about cosmetics that are amazing for people with red hair. I know my peeps are out there somewhere. Um, these are mostly products for people with dark red hair, like mine, that's more like an auburn shade, but, you know, obviously there are other shades of these products that will work for people with lighter red hair. I just feel like this, it needs to happen, because who knows when my hair is going to change again, and I know there are people out there who have red hair who are like, oh, what do I do? I don't even. Um, so, let's get right into it. First things first. You want a lipstick that complements your hair. I have quite a few red lip products here that I'm going to show you guys. Um, the first is my MAC lipstick, the only MAC lipstick I own. It's MAC Red shade BA, I think that's a 2. I bought this like quite a few months ago and um, it's not good for my hair. As you can see it's a little bit too bright I guess. Let me swatchy swatch it for you. There you go. That's what the swatch looks like. It's a solid red lipstick. It's got a satin finish. Really nice. It's just a little bit too pink for my hair right now. I used it when I was a blonde. Um, but I figured people with bright red hair or magenta hair might dig that. I don't know. Uh, next up is my Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Adore. I love this thing. Packaging looks like that. You can get it in the drugstore really, really cheap. They're like eight bucks or something. And this one has, it's a dark red, but it's, it's a stain, so it's going to be a little bit glossier, a little bit clearer than, say, a lipstick. And it's got a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. You can see it right there in comparison to the MAC Red lipstick. You can see the, the difference there definitely complements darker red shades. It also goes great. Um, you can use it underneath of a lipstick and just put lipstick on over it so that way if you're making out with your boyfriend or eating or drinking you won't have to worry about your color coming off your lips. So there's that. Uh, next up is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. I know all y'all have heard about these. I've talked about them on my channel too. And um, this one is number 40, Red Velvet. And I really, really like this color. I like this color particularly over or under a lipstick as a gloss. Again, it's a dark, kind of cranberry red shade. A little, give it a little swatchy, swatchy. It's kind of, I like it because it's dark. Um, so it makes me look paler. I just, you know, I'm one of those people who wants to look paler instead of more tan. It's right there. It's that one. So you can see it's kind of a happy medium between these two. It's not as pink as this one, but it's a little bit more opaque than this one. Looks like we have a visitor. Hey, honey. Um, what you talking about, opaque? So, <laughs> I'm talking about cosmetics for people with red hair. Um, hi, dear. So you can see all of those lip products side by side. I don't know where my, oh, there it is. We can talk about this one, too. This one is by Clinique. This is called Almost Lipstick, and it's in the color Black Honey. It looks really, really, really dark um, on the stick, but if you give a little swatchy swatch here, the color is very buildable, so you can actually just kind of cake it on and get the, the opacity you want, but it will never be completely opaque. Um, that's it right there. As you can see, it's kind of like the balm stain. I found it's a little bit more softening, a little bit more nourishing for your lips. It's almost like a lip balm and a lipstick had a baby. Um, it's not as pigmented, so if you're looking for something that's more of a day look, hey, this is pretty perfect. And it's kind of cheap as far as prestige cosmetics go. It's 15 bucks. So, not too shabby, Clinique, not too shabby. Finally, the piece de resistance, my favorite lipstick right now. Um, this is, I, you guys saw this in another video I made. This is Sephora's lipstick in the shade Courtesan. There's the back, there's the side. I love the packaging on this, it's so snazzy. Um, inside looks like that. 
It's got an interesting stick shape. Let me find room on my hand to swatch this because it is amazing. If you blot it correctly, it dries perfectly matte and it's right there. You can see it's got a darker, more cranberry shade than any of the other swatchy swatches over here. Definitely a must-have for someone with dark auburn hair like mine. I'm wearing it right now and it matches perfectly. No clashing going on in my side of town. So, next up, we're done with lips. Now we're working on eyeballs. So, I definitely 100% recommend the Crown Brush Neutrals Palette uh, by Graveyard Girl, the one that she curated a sale for a while back. I don't know if it's still available on crownbrush.com. It's really hard to open though. That's my only thing. Like, is it just me who has trouble opening palettes? Is that like a thing? Honey, help. Um, but it's got a lot of neutrals in there that are really, really good and really complimentary for red hair types. Um, especially people with red hair and blue eyes, like myself. So you can see it's got 28 shades. Whee! So cool. And particularly this dark purple shade, oh, you can't see it, right up there, is awesome for red hair types. It brings out the purple in burgundy hair. Let me, let me swatch it on my finger so you can see that. It's got a great color payoff, and it makes people's lives better. I don't know. It's just it's a happy little shade of purple. There's it on my hand. You can see it's kind of got some purpley pink glitter in it, so it's a great night color. I use it on my crease all the freaking time. Um, so yeah, great palette if you're looking for something to really stock up your eyeshadow collection. Uh, another thing for eyeshadow is Makeup Forever's blush powder in N162. Yeah, technically this is a blush. I use it as an eyeshadow because holy mother freaking cow, this is like really dark. <laughs> it's a very, very, thank you honey, it's a very dark shade to use as a blush. I would not use this as a blush. I'd use it maybe for contouring every once in a while um, if I'm looking for a really intense like drag look or something. Let me just give a little swatcheroo on here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's a big time brick red shade. I'll put it next to the purple so you guys can make a make a comparison. Now my one com my one issue, there's the purple and then there's the brick red. My one issue with this blush shade is that it is expensive. This teeny tiny little individual palette of a blush shade was $23, which is insanely expensive for something you're using on your eyeballs. But that said, it's a beautiful color. I'm wearing it right now. It blends really well with black and other dark shades if you're looking for more of a gothy look. So great for Halloween coming up. Definitely keep it in mind if you've got the extra dough. Um, finally, in the eyeball category, last but certainly not least, we've got the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Rust. I love this thing. This thing is the whole reason I decided to make this video, because I made a realization today. Um, throughout my redhead lifestyle, I've discovered one pivotal issue, is that my eyebrows do not match my hair. People still ask me if that's my natural hair color, but my eyebrows don't match my hair. The carpet doesn't match the proverbial drapes. No, I'm not talking about my actual, never mind. Um, this particular eyeshadow pencil that's what it looks like. Originally, I got it to use in smoky eye looks as kind of a base color to put shadow over top, but then I discovered I can put this on my eyebrows. I did it today, and it makes my eyebrows match my hair, which makes the whole natural hair color thing even more convincing. There's that shade right there, swatchy swatched on there. They come in a billion different shades and they're just five dollars and they last forever. So I definitely highly recommend these for any of my red-headed stepchildren out in the universe. So that's about it. Those are the cosmetics that I recommend for people with red hair. But now it's your turn. Do you have cosmetics that are perfect for red, burgundy, or auburn hair types? Let me know, leave a comment or video response in the box below. I promise I will read and watch all of them. In the meantime, I'm going to go sing my ass off. So I'll see you guys later.